edge is the boundary or interface between two biological communities. Let me show you an example. These two ecosystems each contain three species, but in the region where they overlap, they produce conditions which can now support three new species, increasing diversity. This is the edge effect. Gaia Education is working within the edges all around the planet, together with local communities, building capacity and increasing environmental sustainability. Women, land, monsoon. In the edge between these three territories live the tribal women of Kuraput. Recently, insufficient rain has dried the soil, limiting the yields. The edge between the traditional ways of food growing with drought-tolerant plants and permacultural approaches are bringing back the fertility of the land and nutrition of their meals. Communities, climate, livelihood. Bangladesh has experienced drastic weather conditions which are having devastating impacts on the lives of the local people, especially in the vulnerable coastal areas of Kulna and Bagarat. In order to improve the livelihoods and break the cycle of food insecurity, people from the local communities have been trained in organic agricultural practices, which have generated yields many times higher than in the past, and empowered the local women to secure their livelihoods. They are now producing enough to sell the excess fruit and vegetables in the local markets and have greatly strengthened the community's resilience. Desertification, Knowledge, Empowerment In the region of Podor, in northern Senegal, poor land management, coupled with the adverse effects of climate change, have led to severe soil erosion and infertility, along with pest susceptibility. By nurturing the villagers' skills and knowledge in permaculture, agroforestry and sustainable settlement design, the project is progressively empowering men and women to ultimately guarantee food security and increase income generation. Women have been improving soil fertility, developing effective water management systems and ensuring crop protection through natural herbicides and fish tonic. Each village now has its own nursery, using recycled plastic containers to grow seedlings that are to be used as trees for farming in the future. Migration, agroecology, integration. Each year, thousands of migrants attempt a dangerous journey across the Mediterranean to Europe. Many of them are trying to escape poverty, climate and war. Sicily has always been a crossroads of agriculture. It has the largest surface of fertile organic land and the highest number of organic operators in Italy. Sicilia Integra supports the socio-economic integration of migrants through agroecological capacity building activities while contributing to the fair trade of organic products in Europe. Urban sprawl, biodiversity, community. Villa Brasilandia is one of the largest slums of South America with over 260,000 people. Fed by a constant influx of rural migrants, its steady growth puts overwhelming pressure on the urban forest Cantareira, one of the remaining green belts of Sao Paulo. Designed for sustainability and community, attended by students ranging between 20 and 60 years of age, has fostered their ecological imagination. With their new urban design skills, Brasilandia designers are now maximizing the edges between urban forest and city, health system and community gardens, ecological building and favela construction, local development and social enterprise. Transformation, film, living memory. For over a decade, Gaia Education has been maximising edges while promoting thriving communities within planetary boundaries. From communities of learning to zones of influence, we have witnessed hundreds of stories of transformation. We are now embarking on a journey of turning testimonials into living memory through film. And you know what? Even in the way we are filming, we are maximising edges. <laughs>